Kathleen Sebelius shreds her own credibility. Next on the American Life League Report. Since 2003, Planned Parenthood in Kansas has been under investigation for failing to report child rapists to the police. This investigation led to the filing of 49 criminal charges against Planned Parenthood, including 23 felonies for falsifying documents submitted to the courts. This is in addition to 58 other criminal charges for performing illegal late-term abortions. Unfortunately, all of the most serious charges involving child rape were dropped last month, and Planned Parenthood has just one person to thank for this, former governor of Kansas Kathleen Sebelius. Here's the story in a nutshell. In 2003, Kansas State Attorney General Phil Klein began his investigation of the non-reporting of child rape by abortion clinics. As his investigation progressed, Klein needed records from the Kansas Department of Social and Rehabilitation Services, or SRS. SRS did its best to block the records from Klein, but through court-ordered subpoena, he got the records he needed. After reviewing the SRS records, Klein realized he needed termination of pregnancy reports, which all abortion clinics have to file under state law. These reports were in the hands of the Sebelius Controlled Department of Health and the Environment, or KDHE. The KDHE tried to use the courts to block Klein from obtaining these records, but ultimately he got those records as well. In 2004, Klein subpoenaed Planned Parenthood for its records, but Planned Parenthood was able to delay giving him those records for three years. Two years later, Phil Klein was voted out of office, but as the new district attorney for Johnson County, he was able to continue his investigation. He then filed over 100 criminal charges against Planned Parenthood, including 23 felonies. However, the new Sibelius appointed attorney general, Steve Six, did his part in blocking Klein's investigation and again, Phil Klein is denied access from the original files. But Six couldn't do this alone. He had the help of the Sibelius stacked Kansas Supreme Court. Ready for the punchline? After almost 10 years of legal and political manipulation, the case against Planned Parenthood is ready to go to trial, except it can't. Why? All the felony charges and other charges relating to protecting child rapists were thrown out because it turns out that Kathleen Sebelius' KDHE and her Attorney General Steve Six had secretly shredded the most damning evidence. Here's what Phil Klein has to say about Sebelius' involvement in this Shreddergate scandal. The evidence was destroyed at a time the Sebelius administration knew that the documents were key to a criminal investigation of Planned Parenthood's failure to report child rape. Planned Parenthood is an important and long-term political ally of Sibelius. So there you have it. Planned Parenthood in Kansas has successfully avoided any prosecution for failing to report child rape to authorities. According to Phil Klein, Planned Parenthood has only been able to do this because Kathleen Sibelius' administration, including a team of state Supreme Court justices that she appointed, worked overtime to suppress and even destroy the evidence against it. When Penn State football coach Joe Paterno failed to call the police after learning that a former member of his staff allegedly raped a 10-year-old boy, he was fired from his position. Yet although Planned Parenthood continues to protect rapists, it suffered no punishment and its protector, Kathleen Sebelius, has a cozy job in D.C. Jim Sedlak, vice president of American Life League, recently called on Kathleen Sebelius to resign from her post. American Life League is calling for the resignation of Kathleen Sebelius as Secretary of Health and Human Services because it is coming to light that while she was governor of Kansas, her administration was involved in protecting Planned Parenthood who was uh, covering up the rape of young children and it went so far as to destroy evidence in the case so that the case now has had to be dropped. And it is absolutely clear that Sebelius must go back to Kansas and must face what is going on there rather than continue in her position as Secretary of Health and Human Services. Not only should Kathleen Sebelius immediately resign from her position, but Congress should send a clear message that taxpayer money will not be used to line the pockets of those who look the other way when children are getting raped. It should sever all funds going to Planned Parenthood. Add your name to the list of those who want Sibelius to resign. Go to all.org slash Sibelius. For American Life League, 
I'm Michael Hitchborn.